following Minneapolis Police Department policy. It was just a pain the entire time. You will learn that on May 25th of 2020, Mr. Derek Chauvin betrayed this badge when he used excessive and unreasonable force upon the body of Mr. George Floyd. And you will learn that Derek Chauvin did exactly what he had been trained to do over the course of his 19-year career. The use of force is not attractive, but it is a necessary component of policing. Uh, would you tell the ladies and gentlemen how you're viewing, experiencing what happened to George Floyd has affected your life? When I look at George Floyd, I look at, I look at my dad, I look at my brothers, I look at my cousins, my uncles, because they are all black. I have black, I have a black father, I have a black brother, I have black friends. And I, I look at that and I look at how that could have been one of them. It's been nights. I stayed up apologizing and, and apologizing to George Floyd for not doing more and not physically interacting and not saving his life. Clearly, when Mr. Floyd was no longer responsive and even motionless, to continue to apply that level of force to a person proned out, handcuffed behind their back, um, that, that in no way, shape, or form is anything that um, uh, is by policy, is not part of our training, and it is certainly not part of our ethics or our values. Uh, what today remains your opinion as to the cause of death for Mr. Floyd? So my opinion remains unchanged. It's what I put on the death certificate last June. That's cardiopulmonary arrest, complicating law enforcement, subdual restraint, and neck compression. That was my top line then. It would stay my top line now. He would always be up on our mom. He was a big mama's boy. Um, I cry a lot, but George, he loved his mom. He will always just be up on her. And, you know, every mother loves all of her kids, but it was so unique how they were with each other. He would lay, just lay up on the her in the fetus position like he was still in a womb. I felt that Derek Chauvin was justified and was acting with objective reasonableness following Minneapolis Police Department policy and current standards of law enforcement and his interactions with Mr. Floyd. He would have the toxicology, the fentanyl and methamphetamine. Um, there is exposure to a vehicle exhaust, so potentially carbon monoxide poisoning, or at least an effect from increased carbon monoxide in his bloodstream, and a paraganglionoma, or the other natural disease process that he has. So um, all of those combined to cause Mr. Floyd's death. Um, have you made a decision uh, today whether you intend to testify or whether you intend to invoke your Fifth Amendment privilege? Uh, I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege today. <laughs> the defendant has the right not to testify. Your Honor, at this time, the defense rests. Thank you. Mr. Bl Your Honor, the state of Minnesota rests. Mr. Nelson, anything further? No, Your Honor. All right. Uh, we probably put...